one of the things, especially like with uh, the latest single, The Better Me, I was like, man, this kind of sounds like Bill Murray, which made me think about your former band, Attack Attack. Yeah. How do you feel about all the love that Attack Attack gets now, you know, 10, 15 years later? It's so funny, dude. Uh, I, you know, when I was in it, uh, it was just nothing but a good time, at least in those early years. You know, the t- the records with Johnny and like yeah. the, the, the self-titled and Someday Came Suddenly. That was just nothing but a good time. And, um, you know, then it, it got weird and there was so much self-hate. And then I had, you know, my scene guilt and I started my <laughs> fucking hardcore band and whatever. Um, but like now it is so funny how that works. Like People enough, just love that stuff so much. Enough now. time has passed now that I think it's those like kind of those things like, dude, you post a lot of these memes. Like we'll yeah. never realize you'll never realize these are the best years of your life. It's like, that was one of those fucking moments, man. We were such a weird man and such a weird flash in the pan. But I do think there was like, when at first I thought it was just kind of like this crazy weird, like how could they have made this happen? I think there was a lot of talent and and I think there For was like, sure. Absolutely. I mean, you see what happened now yeah. with you know, Johnny and myself and even they're still going. It's like, there's, there was a lot of good shit that went down, but I definitely don't at all have any of like the the hatred for it i i mean is it cool to see that people appreciate it now because obviously a lot of people back then didn't oh my god it's hilarious to see it now uh because back then like you know we had our supporters and then there was just you either supported it or fucking hated it right especially in like (laughs) 2009 like when it was when it was kind of like just a hot moment um dude i remember being on warped and like literally bands from stage like shit talking us and the whole like skull candy stage right um, like just hating you're like the- i'm 17 don't you have something better to do with yourself yeah, I, was, I was literally a fucking kid um but like that now that people are into it and kind of appreciate it i think is great I, i'm all about it I, I just think it's fun because that was the fucking point it was just fun it's like look at bill murray like the, to me bill murray is the it, it really like ties up so much about what attack attack really was mm-hmm. because johnny was so much of attack attack he brought yeah. that like fun no fucking care about what anybody thinks does it make us laugh and do we have fun playing it that's all that matters um but then really under that would be like this brilliant song. Like he's yeah. so fucking good. Um, but brilliant, yeah, but also just made absolutely no sense yeah. in like a cool way. Like yeah. the first time I heard uh, stick stickly, I was at just some like random scene kids, like how some scene girls party and they put it on and I just like stopped what I was doing. I was like, what in the fuck is this dude yes man this makes no fucking sense that literally was it and like to the point of choosing to do that like if it didn't make us laugh or i don't know how we found that kind of middle ground but yeah dude those first two records were were magical and like i look back on those times so fondly now i spent so long fucking burying that shit and like not thinking about it and fucking hating it um and only looking at the negative that came out of it and how it kind of like you know the situation scarred me in quite yeah. a few ways but now I'm, I'm just like dude those are some of the best years of my life like being fucking 15 years old in joey sturgis's garage when he was still like chain had, smoking yeah dude just ripping everybody <laughs> is smoking we're fucking like pissing out in the yard because there's no <laughs> bathroom. We have to drive to the gas station to go take a shit and like pouring in a van nonstop, like lighting fireworks in the van on the highway, just being fucking idiot kids. And like, there was great times, man. It, it really was. There, There's some magic that, um, that I could, you know, that was very much, it, it was just, it was meant to be. It happened, and I couldn't be more fucking proud. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I fuck. That was cool. Dude, I think especially like the self-titled one, like really, really, really holds up. 
like Smoke mm. Hannes, like that is just a legitimately great song. I think that's when Joey also was just like really entering God mode. Dude. And he, he just added all of that up God. together and you're like, damn it, this is good. Yeah. Like he dude, we were talking about this the other day. Me and uh I'm a huge Devil Wars Prada fan, obviously. If you've listened to Attack Attack in that era, you know Prada like paved the way. Um, but we went through like their whole discography on the bus one night uh in Europe, spent like a long time going through and talking about all their eras. Uh-huh. Like, dude, that's a talk about a band that's had an amazing fucking ride. Like, they're one of my favorites of all time. It's so good to see them doing so well now. But listening to those old records, it was like, dude, Joey was doing something that like you had never heard a mix that absolutely and clean. in this genre i was like whoa i had no idea this kind of music could sound this way yeah didn't know it was possible man like yeah shout out to fucking joey sturgis the king dude i mean he's the reason i'm still i mean the reason my shit sounds the way it does like absolutely <laughs>